Somit ein herzliches Willkommen zu The Viking Dead Let's Play 400 Tage bei Tag 236 bei Shell. Die Geburtstagsfeier. Hey, Shell, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? I'm trying to protect her from it as much as possible. Things are stable here, for now. I want her to grow up with this, not what's outside these walls. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Okay, but be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. Dann gucken wir mal draußen, was da so abgeht, was auf uns zukommt und auf uns wartet. Wir müssen die Hunde füttern. Oh, you scared me. He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. Disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. I know, I just want her to have a little more time to be a kid. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Das komische Leute ist, sie hat gerade gesagt, was erstmal Roman? Was ist sie denn da? Sagt sie. Keine Ahnung, ich werde es versuchen. Versuchen, du meinst ihr angucken. Oh, 
Tja, das Hundebaby ist sich jetzt wohl nicht mehr am Leben. Wir gehen wieder rein und setzen die Geschichte mal fort. I'm sorry. It's it's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it and you want to protect it and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell, Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know, something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. Let's mop them. If so, can be bad. Jesus. Largum. La My God. Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. Did he hurt anyone? No, thank God. Who is he? I don't know, and I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck it's in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him, and they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him well, on his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. You have a point. I don't know. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. And all because some stranger lied and told us he had medicine. Can't trust nobody. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Ich bin dafür. You're right. Dass er sterben wird. Es ist beste Perspektive, die ich jemals bedacht habe. We are letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? We can't take the risk. We kill him. There's gotta be another way. Tell me, what if he comes back? With weapons, or, or a gang? Is it worth losing any one of us? Jesus, there really is no other choice, is there? We can't keep him here, and we can't let him go. Let's mop them. If there's even it's a so chance of him coming back, or telling folks that might try to hurt us, we can't risk it. I won't ask you to watch, but if we do this, we're all in it together. If this ever happens again, it's gonna be one of you pulling that trigger.
Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Go fish. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? After we had to kill that guy, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I wish things were still like they used to be. Well, Roman's too focused on making sure no one's able to break in again. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Oh, God, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. There's nothing out there but slow-ass walkers. What are you talking about? We've had two break-ins already. Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? They won't. Damn it, Becca. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Give us a minute. Yeah. Just don't take too long. What was that all about? Maybe he found out about the boards? Shit. You think so? If he did, I won't say anything. But you better stay away from there for a while. Okay. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Jetzt bin ich mal gespannt, was jetzt schon wieder abgeht. Hey, Shell. It's Stephanie. What? Roman's got her locked up like some kind of animal. They said she was trying to escape. They actually used that word. Escape. Boyd, calm down. I knew something like this was going to happen, Shell. I said if we killed that man, we were heading down a dangerous path. And now look where we are. I'm gonna go talk to Roman. No, no, just take Becca and get out of here. You know I can't do that. Things are good here. We just have to stick together and follow the rules. Just don't do anything stupid. Hey, I heard about Stephanie. Why did she have to do that? We're safe here. There's no reason to want to leave. I'm sure she had her reasons. I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Is this really necessary? Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she just wanted to get outside these walls for a while. Ever since the incident you've made this place feel I don't know oppressive we've made it safe she was definitely trying to escape she had most of our ammo and medicine with her she screwed us shell all of us and now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go you do know why I'm telling you this right You said that next time, it'd have to be one of us. You went along with it last time. You weren't convinced it was the right thing to do. Now I need to know that you're with us. A hundred percent. Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. 
She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Doesn't matter. She did what she did. Stupid. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. Shell. Time. I don't ever want to put you in danger. If that means this is what we have to become, then it is what it is. Sorry. Me too. Ja, Leute. Das war's wohl. Ich muss ehrlich zu euch sagen, stellt euch vor, sie wäre abgehauen. Wir hätten das tun müssen. Die Story hätte sich verändert. Man weiß es nicht. Naja. Eine schwere Entscheidung war das. Es geht weiter mit Bonnie. Okay, got one. A snake for a tongue. You're so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Awful. Or lobster claws for hands? Can I control this snake, or does it have free reign? Free reign? Well... I'm thinking... Think harder. And how exactly do you think harder, snake tongue? Gross. What? How is it more gross than lobster hands? Well, for one, it's in your mouth. 
Hey, you asked the question, Haas. Okay. How about... Oh, never mind. I probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. Oh, come on. You'd be a lot less fun. You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. Though, so, uh, you gotta admit anything is an improvement. That came out wrong. Uh, what I mean is... I mean, uh, you were... You were, uh... You know. You know, you're not perfect either, Mr. Lobster Hands. Maybe I should spend a minute listing off your flaws. See how you like it. Me? I ain't perfect? That's right. And you're older than dirt. Look, as long as you stay off that stuff, you can have all the flaws you want. I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Well, I never thought you'd make it. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. You're a good friend, Leland. I know. Okay, you're not that great. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? As long as we're together, I'll be there for you. You ain't gotta worry. You know that, right? Slow down, Leland. Bonnie, I... Leland? Bonnie? Dee? Hey, honey. I found us something. What are you two up to? Where have you been, Dee? We were just talking while we waited for you, huh? And what were you talking about? You, actually. Oh? Uh, what about me? I was just telling Leland here how grateful I am. You know, for you guys helping me out. Really? I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your uh, girlfriend, but uh, we gotta get moving. Girlfriend. So, where'd you get the bag, D? 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 Did you hear me? Let's keep moving. I feel like I've been in a washing machine all day. I'd kill for a towel right now. Or a blow dryer. <laughs> yes, good lord, deliver us a blow dryer. Hey, Dee, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon. You like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. Not to interrupt the girl talk here, but uh, Dee, that, that bag. Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Where down the road? Some place off that away. Damn it, Dee, you gotta give us more than that. Was anyone there? I don't think so. You don't think, or you don't know? Those mean the same thing, Leland. Just tell us, baby. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you sided with me in the last week. The last month. All right. I can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go, every time. Now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the one who We should stopped. get moving now, but come on. But you are the one who made me stop. Irregardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I have about had it with that attitude. Attitude? And now we're standing You're gonna draw every goddamn goddamn from rain miles in around this you, goddamn like middle of nowhere you place. On you listen to me now. I have had it up I to here with listening to you. To blaspheme. I can't believe you. Leland, that's enough. It's obvious you can't win this one, so why even bother trying? Bonnie, I appreciate you trying to help, but let me handle it. This, all right? Thank you, Bonnie. Finally, someone makes some damn sense around here. Bonnie, darling, I'm I'm sorry we're darling. D, come on, save it. I know what side your bread is buttered on. Yours too. D, now's not the time. Whatever issues we got, we'll hash them out later. I, I refuse to get in the middle of this. Well, too bad. You already are. I'm sorry. I just want to get somewhere where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God, run. Come on. We gotta move. What are you talking about? Oh, shit.
Anything? No, I can't see a damn thing out here. Natürlich auch sein, dass das irgendjemand anderes ist, Leute. Dass es plötzlich Leland ist oder seine Frau. Wer weiß. Und der schlagen wir die K.O. und töten sie. Das dürfen wir nicht. Okay. Das sah aus wie seine Frau. Sondern wirklich das tun, was ich mir denke zu tun. So, I'm ready to go. Mama, watch over me. Okay, Bonnie. Stay calm. Find a weapon. Du bist schuld gewesen, mein Liebe. Du bist schuld gewesen. Warum hast du nichts gesagt? Das war der Grund. So, was können wir jetzt sagen zu dir? Es ist egal, ich fand sie so. Ich musste es tun. Wir können nichts beantworten. Das ist scheiße. Ich weiß. You did this to my D? I don't... I don't believe this. I don't understand. How did it happen? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Levin. 
Bonnie. Back this way. Oh, I no, feel sick. Which way? There. I'm sorry to do this to you, darling. I'll leave you here. Call out if you this see way. I know it's hard, but I need you, Leland. I think I saw something over here. We can't take her with us. If she's gonna die for this thing, I for damn sure ain't leaving it behind. Somit nimmt die ganze Geschichte einen Lauf. Tag 400. Right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Well, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. We're building a good community here. We want So good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. You got it. Hey! Don't you bit! Don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, I'd be dead. I know that for sure. People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone? That's enough, Becca. Guys, look. If I learned one thing from Danny, it's that we have to stick together and protect ourselves. What? That guy was an asshole. You should be happy he got killed before Shell and Becca joined us. Why? Don't worry about it. Yeah, screw this. We don't know what kind of people we're dealing with. The only reason I'm with you guys is because Vince saved my life. Look, we need people, plain and simple. You folks can decide if you want to come as a group or split up or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Shell, why are we even listening to her? She's obviously lying. Even if she's not, I think it's better to just keep on the move. Staying in one place makes you an easy target. I don't care how safe you think it is. That truck stop was a death trap. It was right off the highway, for God's sake. No way you and a bunch of sick old people were gonna defend it. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. I'm not lying to you. How do we know that? You don't. You don't have to come, but we'd be happy to have you. Oh, come on, guys. I mean, we left those photos so that someone could find us, didn't we? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? Relatively speaking. If we wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. I had a gun and snuck right up. Well, what's stopping you? Exactly. 
Nothing. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. Some of you may have been separated from friends or family. It's a long shot, but there's a chance you could find them there. Have your people been through Statesboro? Yes, I think we have. Okay, but I swear to God, if you try anything, you're gonna regret it. Yeah, and if you're not lying, maybe, maybe Eddie will be there. We'll do everything we can to help you find your friends and family. But understand that I can't promise anything. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? I give you my word. So, da la. wir haben es geschafft. 72% der Spieler Justins Fuß abgeschlossen. Okay. Wow. Ich habe drei Leute dazu gebracht, mitzukommen. Aber... Zwei Leute nicht. Ich hätte gern alle gehabt, aber wie viel Platz haben wir im Auto? Nicht genug. Schade, schade. So. The Walking Dead beendet. Ich muss echt sagen, Leute, endlich geht mein Aufnahmegerät wieder. Ich habe rausgefunden, warum das Ganze nicht funktioniert hat. Man muss die Elgato D60, die externe Elgato, abschließen und nicht dauert am PC und an der PS4 angeschlossen haben. Also am Gerät zu Gerät. Somit sage ich, ja, die Geschichte war schön. Wer die ganze Geschichte natürlich kennenlernen möchte und der darf nicht zuerst dieses 400 Tage Game spielen, sondern erst die Hauptstory und dann den 400 Tage Ablauf. Es ist eine tragische Geschichte, viele Entscheidungen. Die Geschichte entscheidet sich je nach Situation und Entscheidung. Ich muss sagen, es war mal eine Geschichte, ein Lebenslauf wert, das zu erspielen. Ich bin am überlegen, soll ich weitere Geschichten von The Walking Dead Let's Play? Ja gut, Übung macht den Meister. Jedes Spiel wird eines Tages immer besser und besser. Ich finde es schön und ich würde sagen, ich lasse euch die Credits, genießt sie. Und die entspannte Musik. Wir hören uns in einem weiteren Projekt. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Dankeschön fürs Zugucken. Für die tatkräftige Unterstützung. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Und haut rein. Ciao, ciao.